Do you ever find yourself wanting a really nice cup of coffee, not just the standard sachets and the standard instant coffee? Do you ever find yourself you want something, you know, more like you can get in a cafeteria or a restaurant or something like that? Well, in this little pouch, I have the Staresso. This is the Staresso 2 Mini. Um, this is a portable, very lightweight, portable, small coffee maker. Apart from you get this little carry pouch, uh, which is great. You can just drop this into your camera bag. You can drop this into your hiking bag. You can put this in your travel bag or anything. If you're going down to the beach, great. Take a little flask, maybe a little flask with some hot water in it. Um, I'm, 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 I'm traveling at the moment. I'm in my van. As you can see, I'm in my camper van. And uh, I'm just about to do a 55 mile journey and I want to make some coffee. And I don't just want the standard instant stuff. So I want something a bit posher. Inside this pouch, you get this lovely cloth, a nice little cleany dry cloth for keeping your things nice and dry. Don't need the pouch anymore. Once you take it out and you get this inside the pouch, you get this little espresso maker. Really, really cool. I've used it a couple of times. I'm not a pro coffee maker. Uh, it also takes the pods. Uh, I've got a decaf section of decaf as well if I need a decaf. And I've also got a nice uh, 10 Colombian coffee capsules. Uh, so yeah, you can get these little capsules and these little capsules will actually go inside this coffee pod as well. So uh, yeah, pretty good. But I'm going to make myself a nice brand name coffee. Uh, it comes with the little spoon and everything to go in it. So on the bottom, you have this small little cup, this little container. So if you just want a, a little espresso, get yourself a decent coffee, that's the way to do it. And that one, uh, you take off the plastic cover, the plastic cover then flips around and goes upside down. This sits on top of the cup. And then in the top here, you have a pump. See there, for giving that pump and getting the right pressure going through the coffee uh, to give you your uh, instant ground coffee. So let's start off by taking the bottom off. We slip this off the bottom. Hopefully you can see this quite clearly. And inside here, so inside here you have this little uh, capsule thing with um, teeth on it. And the little teeth are designed for bursting into the top of your little pods, your little capsules. Uh, and that's for the, using that. You also get a little tiny silver dish. The little silver dish is for where your coffee goes in and then you've got your screw mount that goes in there. So I'm gonna make myself a nice little instant coffee. <laughs> make sure it's clean inside because I had it, used it before. Uh, this is very, very easy to use. I'm just gonna make it. I'm gonna make two or three of them and I'm gonna put them inside my coffee cup. So I'm gonna have some serious buzz on the way down as I'm driving along. Right, it's simple, it really is. So you take your coffee, your ground coffee, uh, and it comes with a small, cleaning brush you get a little small cleaning brush with it and you also get this little um, cup for putting your coffee in which gives you just enough coffee to put into your espresso maker now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a tissue underneath because i don't want to make mess all over my van and coffee seems to go absolutely everywhere when i'm making coffee let's lift this up i've got not sponsored by costa uh, but I've got this lovely ground Costa coffee and I've actually got a lot of it in the bottom as well. So uh, I might have to start off by tipping that out the bottom of the pot. It's obviously leaking and just tap that down. And then I'm going to get a little bit more using the little spoon that it comes with. And one of these little cups is enough to make. I made two cups of coffee out of it yesterday. So you put it in there nice and level and then use the bottom of the little spoon thing to pat it down, I can get a little bit more in there, can't I? I can get a, definitely get a two more, a little bit more scoop in there. Like I say, one full one would actually give you enough coffee. But So once you've made that, you've got this coffee in the bottom of your little pod thing there. You screw this back in at the bottom, give it a twist, make sure it's nice and snug and tight. This then fits on the top of your cup and your plastic pod. So you just basically flip this bit over and it fits on the bottom there. And then that fits on top of your cup make it keeping it nice and easy then you unscrew the top inside the top you have um, some level indicators i can just show you that you've got some level indicators inside we've got a 50 mil and a 80 mil little part a line inside there so it tells you how much water to put in and then what you've got to do then is you tip your hot water into the top and i'm going for 80 mils so we pour it in once we've got our 80 mils of water in there, we take our top and we screw our top back on, making sure it's done up reasonably tight because we want to keep the pressure in there. And then once that's in there, we start pumping. And you literally just pump it 
keep it going until you build up the pressure and once you build up the pressure you can feel it and then you can hear it and it starts to pump the coffee out the bottom and you just keep pumping until your water is pumped through your coffee and you've got instant ground coffee so once you get to the end you'll find that the pressure is then released because there's no more uh, water in there and all your coffee is in the bottom and all you have to do then is lift this off the top and you will find you've got this instant smooth coffee just sitting there waiting for you to mm, drink back and enjoy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop that into my coffee cup and i'm going to make another one because i know i've got enough coffee in there to get me another one on the go so again it's very simple all i've got to do is unscrew the top tear in tip in some more hot water up to my 80 mil line inside and then away we go again with another coffee now i know i can get two or three coffees out of this little bit of coffee um, i don't need it that strong um, but it is strong enough it's really nice and this cost of coffee is beautiful clean out your little dish take out the bottom so we'll release the pressure in the top just to make sure unscrew the bottom and if you do it over your sink just to make sure any drips and stuff comes out in the bottom this is where I make a mess normally I normally put it all over me all over me sink <laughs> and I did exactly what I said I wanted to do didn't want to do I've tipped it all over me sink my fault wasn't watching I was listening to me video so what can I tell you about it uh, the little mini 2 um, it's a manual espresso uh, using home, office, travel, camp, hiking, fishing, you name it, you can use it for it. Americanos, lattes, macchiatos, Irish coffees, Torissimo cakes. You can use this for putting your coffee in your cakes. Um, it's very universal for making different types of coffee. Uh, latte would be nice. Uh, nice warm milk, tip in one of these. Beautiful. Very easy to use. Simple pump action, which I showed you. So it's relatively easy to clean. Um, let's say it's coffee is a funny thing you know if you drink coffee and you drink ground coffee you know that the coffee granules get everywhere i am not going to lie they get absolutely everywhere i made right mess for that just now because i just tipped it as i was trying to film and talk and stuff like that uh, i've had to clean the van down clean me sink out but it's fine it's easy to do but the actual capsule itself is very very easy to clean uh, you just you just wash it out rinse it underneath a tap and it's done so we've got a working pressure of between 217 to 290 PSI. That's the pressure you can build up by putting the pump action on. It's lightweight. It weighs a net weight of 0.75 pounds. So it's nice and lightweight. Uh, dimensions is uh, 2.36 inches. That's round. And it's 6.3 inches long. So it's only 6 inches long. Like I say, you don't have to take the pouch. You can take this, this on its own and drop this inside. You can drop it inside your pocket. It's very, very easy to drop inside your pocket. And I probably recommend taking the pods. These little tiny capsules, these little pods that go inside. A lot cleaner, a lot tidier and a lot easier for to use. But I know some of you like a real fresh ground coffee. Water capacity is 80 mils. That's the amount of water you can put inside this little cylinder is 80 mil. And it's just enough to fill up that little cup. So it is an espresso shot. You might find uh, it's summertime. You might want to make yourself some of these nice iced coffees. A little bit of cold milk, maybe. A little bit of some icing, uh, some ice cubes and stuff. Drop one of these in the top. Very, very nice for a nice uh, hot summer's day. This retails at around $79. Uh, I will put a link in the description below. Any discount codes I will put down there as well for you. It's a nice little piece of kit. It also locks down on the top so it stops it from popping back up as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to drink my coffee now and get on the road. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, let's get going.